So this is quite peppery. It's a peppery chicken, a beautiful, beautiful curry. It's really easy to make, and of course, it's delicious. Welcome back to How to Cookery. So at the back here, I've got one kg, which is 2.2 pounds of chicken, chicken parts. The bone is in, the skin has been removed. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste. Very simply, in a bowl, little mix. So a large mixing bowl, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon turmeric, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste, in that goes. Got a glove on, I'm gonna get in there and give that a mix. Now, if you can leave this for an hour or so, great. If you could stick it in the fridge overnight, even better. Also, we're gonna need one cup of tomato, one cup of onion, fresh chili up to you, what, how, well, how many you wanna put in really, but yeah, cut, slit down the middle there. Here I've got two dried red chilies. I've got one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of cloves, one teaspoon of coriander seeds, a little bit of cinnamon, two teaspoons of black pepper, and one of poppy seeds. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these, including the chili, we're gonna grind that up to make our powder. Okay, so we've got a lovely, beautiful powder mix there. Let's go. So I've got three tablespoons of oil in there. I'm using a mustard oil, but you can use a different oil if you want. Now, I didn't show you this earlier, but I've got some curry leaves here, fresh curry leaves. If you can get them, they're fabulous. If not, try and get dried. And then we're gonna go in with the onion and the chili. Medium heat, about four minutes. So a nice medium heat. Just get those onions softened a little bit. We're now gonna add in that one cup of tomato. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt now. We're gonna go for about maybe five minutes. We want these tomatoes to break down, which they will do after a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna kind of mash it with my spoon a little bit. These are just softening down here. It's time for the chicken now. So here's our chicken that we put the garlic ginger paste on, the turmeric and the salt. Five minutes, giving it a stir fairly often now. So we've got some absolutely wonderful flavors going on there, but we're about to add loads more there's our beautiful masala spice that we made very peppery stay on this medium heat and go for about another four minutes but this time keep stirring it i don't want the uh spices to burn if they burn they taste a little bit bitter so just keep it moving okay so if you want you can just cook it like this until it's done and ready to serve i'm going to add a bit of water to it Just like a cup of water there we're going to put this on a below medium now we've been on medium we're going to go below medium i'm going to let it go for about another five or six minutes like i say don't want it swimming in sauce you can serve this very dry this one if you want but just a little bit i think is beautiful okay so i'm really happy there with that amount of masala or gravy but if you want you can dry it out a little bit more or if you want it wetter add a little bit more water Okay, off goes the heat. Check it for salt, it's gonna be good for me. Little bit of cilantro or coriander in there. Little mix, job done. Let's get that on the plate, delicious. Now that is beautiful, with rice if you want, but I prefer to eat that with like some paratha or some sort of bread, like a naan bread. Actually, paratha is what I prefer. Hope you enjoy that, keep safe, keep well. Please do give us a thumbs up, comment, hit the bell thing, blah, 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 all that good stuff. I'll see you soon, lots of love.